Welcome to Foodie Mama PH. It's a gloomy kind of morning and I'm on my way to one of the oldest and biggest hawker centers in Singapore, the old airport food center. I'm gonna try so many snacks and meals. I think it's gonna be perfect rainy day weather in a few hours. So let's see what we can find. Let's eat some Singaporean food. Alright, so let's try this very famous lomi. Ryan Tan recommends this and says that this is the best lomi in Singapore. So I have very, very high standards to this. This noodle is very different from the lomi noodles I've had before. This has lots of garlic and chili and vinegar. There's braised egg and then there's maybe fried fish that they claim that is very fresh. Stopped with cilantro. I added a scoop and a half of vinegar because I saw the customers do that. Try a full bite of this lomi. Mm. Actually, I did not expect it. The flavor is very mild and it's not salty. I'm always hesitant to try lomi in Singapore because of how dark it is. Like maybe it's like smothered in some kind of salty, savory broth. But this is very light. I'm amazed. I feel like I can finish this. I love the addition of garlic. It's fresh round garlic, I believe. And it's very hot. It's piping hot. Mmm. Good thing I added that vinegar. Imagine a vinegary, garlicky mildly savory broth that is so sticky and gloopy. The freshness from the cilantro is there in every single bite. Mm. Mm. Plus, crunch from the bean sprouts, amazing. To get some egg. Mm. There are some pork belly pieces. Mm. Both as well. The fish meat. Mm. I've never had fish in lomi before because normally the lomi that we have in the Philippines bright in color countless of toppings this one is totally different Singapore lomi 10 out of 10 and by the way the chili is just nice it's not too spicy just enough to give you that nice heat to keep you going a little bit of pepper in there wow amazing Let's try this freshly made pancake. Very crispy outside, fluffy inside. The filling is peanut. Mm. It reminds me of Filipino hotcakes because it's fresh, steamy, it's crunchy outside, super soft and bouncy. Mm, so good.
All right, so third dish of the day, we have here the shrimp chi chong fun and chicken chi chong fun with some sweet sauce and some sambal. And Sabine got chicken Oh, chicken cutlet, nasi lemak, there's sambal, ikan bilis, peanuts, and some cucumber and fried egg. It's Florations team. I'm part of their team. Mmm. <laughs> Set up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then they got mipok and siobak from Rose Meat Paradise. Siobak and char siu with rice. Let's try the shrimp. Chichong Pan. Mm. Mm. So good. Freshly made, as the stall name says. The rice sheets, so delicate and soft and bouncy and fresh. Mm. Mm. Let's try with the sambal. Mm. <laughs> Another noodle dish and this is quite different. It's one of the newest minced meat noodle stalls here. This is unique because seafood minced meat noodle. What they have here aside from the minced meat and the pork slices, there is this ikura which is like fish eggs. There's shrimp as well as scallops. Of course the pork lard croutons and it's drenched in some maybe lard oil also under the same umbrella with the uh, roast paradise I picked this mipok noodles so let's try just the noodles mixed up with the sauce look at that mm. Mm. super flavorful savory the noodles al dente springy bouncy QQ Try the shrimp. This is a big piece of shrimp right here. Let's try. Mm. Super fresh and plump. Pork lard. Mm. Melts in your mouth. All the flavors in there. Some minced pork with a sliced pork here. Mm. Definitely not the vinegary type of bato meat. There's a piece of scallop earlier. Did I already eat it? Scallop. Mmm, super tender and fresh and sweet. And this one is called hagya, I think hagya, which is like fish dumplings. Mmm, oh yeah. I think this one is freshly made. I hardly get this from Batsomi stalls, and I can really tell that this is made fresh today. Mmm, then some ikura. Minced pork broth, delicious. Mm. Ah, the soup is also very savory. It's so good in a gloomy weather. But I think I still have room for some dessert. See you in a bit. So before the construction workers come back for some noise, let me just finish off this entire meal with this chandel. Super creamy and sweet durian. Mm. Super refreshing, not too sweet. And as always, I love Gula Malaka. This palm, palm sugar syrup. Everything mixed in. Oh, I think this is the best chendol I've had so far, mixed with durian and 
And from now on, Dorian Chandel is the only way to go. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, here in Singapore.